Oh, you know what, right? I was talking to my friend about uh, playing Battle Royale games again, and I was like, fine, yeah, that's not a bad idea. But while I was waiting for my friend, I'm thinking right now, what should I do? Should, you know what, let's do, an, let's do another top five of the best Battle Royale games. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MGN channel. I am your host, Cornish again, and today we're going to be doing Battle Royales and what good ones there are, which are free, by the way, which are free. So we're coming up to number five, which is Realm Royale. Now, there isn't really not much of the microtransactional content on there, but the game is absolutely fun. It's the makers of Paladins, and uh, I prefer playing it in duo. I don't think I like to play it in solo, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know, just something about it. Um, it's a medieval battle royale where you can craft weapons while you're, while you're on the fry, and just the same as any other battle royale third person and enjoyable game i would recommend it to anyone who just is bored and wants to play a cross play game with someone because it's also cross play supportive so you so one person can play on a console and the other one can play it on a computer now we're coming down to number four and of course it's call of duty modern warfare because that game is, everyone knows that game. I've only put it on number four is because of the amount of hackers there have been on that game. And it's a game I like and I hate as well. So number four is kind of a, a thing I wouldn't mind, you know, putting because I do enjoy it. And I do enjoy it sometimes. And the only downfall for Call of Duty, it's over 150 gigabytes. And that is insane. And I know you can shrink it down, but it's still insane right still ridiculous but yeah uh, that had to be on the list because if not then you guys would shoot me in the face and we're coming down to number three and that will be Christine Royale and now this game is a game I have played for a very very long time I was there when the golden age started of Christine Royale now it's kind of changed but they've changed it in a way that they're trying to bring new players into the game but uh, yeah no for for all people like myself who have actually has a pan world record of 19 kills in a single game there he is Oh no, worse timing. <laughs> we did it! We did it again! Oh my god! 19 kills! 19 f***ing kills, boys! <laughs> oh my god, yeah! 19 kills, one double kill, one triple kill. 19 f***ing kills! Oh man. That was the best pan run I've ever done, dude. 19 kills. Oh man, I'm gonna have to hang up my towel here. <laughs> uh, I, I currently hold the world record for the first map of the pan run with 19 kills out of 30 players, I believe. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I would love to see you guys do that or have just have an enjoyment of games. But for new players looking for a new game, Christine Royale would be perfect for you guys. For me, it's no, a no-go anymore, but for you guys, it's good because they've added no, new game modes and stuff in, so just download it. It's free for crying out loud. And we're coming down to number two, and this game is pretty, pretty, pretty unique, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it, and I think it's it's it's, it's a pretty game, and that is Spellbreak. So Spellbreak is a wizard third-person shooter beat -em up type battle royale. Now, with this, it's like the realm royale, but instead of medieval, you've got cast spells with gauntlets, um... Use power ups with amulets, etc. Et it's the same uh, symptoms as any other battle royale game, but with this one, you can you can have a lot of fun with this. You can combine different spells to uh, cast out magic of your own of your own customization, I'd say. And uh, yeah, it's very new, and there is a there is a fair bit of vanity items, which is pretty cool. And a, a game like that. I'm waiting to see more content in. I'd check it out if I was you. And 
as from my personal thought of the game, I enjoyed the heck out of it when I played it. I really, really did. And we're coming down to number one, and number one is the number one of all games, Apex! <laughs> oh god! Considering I, I posted on my Twitter page saying how much I hate this game of the way it plays, um, I started to enjoy it a lot more now, and after like getting used to the controls and everything, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm having a time of my life on that game. Of course, you know Apex is set in the same world as Titanfall games. Uh, I was hoping to see some Titanfall characters, like a pilot or something. That'd be cool. I want to do some wall riding, you know. Um, but Apex does because they've constantly kept updating the game. They've added new maps, and they've even recently added vehicles in. And I like the whole way. I like the way that when you earn in the game, you can earn to get a new character, which is nice. Um, it's not too grindy, and. It's just a lot of fun. I'm having fun, for crying out loud. It's on Steam now. It's also cross-play. And there's not really much to talk about it, as it's a, it's a, it's a perfect game. Alright, it's good. I just wish sometimes in that game, there, the ammo clips for when you pick up a gun would have more than 18 bullets. <laughs> and that's, that's all I think about. That's the, my, my only frustration in that game. Yes, same. We have to push through that. Fuck okay. it. And that is it for the top five Battle Royale VR games. I do hope you enjoyed this video yet again. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit a like. There is some favorite free to play games and tell me your favorites down in the comments and I would love to hear your stories. I'm always active, so don't you worry. I'm pretty real with you guys anyway, so whatever you've put a comment down, I will definitely reply. You take care, and again, have a wonderful day.